Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Chum Boys Outdoors. We are on the way to the creek. Uh, I have a really big bait. Really big bait tied on. That is the Fish Arrow, the DRT, I believe it is, or something like that. Uh, it's kind of like a high float. It's got a bill on it, and I think it might be more like a wake bait. But I don't know. We're going to see if we can get it to uh, go down in the water a little bit and see if there's any hungry fish willing to eat this. Uh, also going to throw around the Tackle HD uh, swimmer and probably some flukes or something too. Uh, get a little finesse, big bait combo going. So that's the plan. Uh, plans could change though. We did get a lot of rain uh, last night. We got quite a bit. I think a big storm rolled through in the middle of the night. So hopefully this creek isn't blown out and I'm actually able to fish it. If you guys see this intro, I was able to fish it. But we'll throw that bait around. Uh, bought some, brought some other big baits too, and some other stuff. So the plan is try to get something to eat that thing. I want to, I want to catch a fish on that. So that's the plan. But if the conditions are different, or fish are acting funny, it's actually a little cooler today than it has been recently too. So uh, yeah. So whatever the conditions give us, we might have to change up our tactics a little bit. But yeah, the plan is to get that thing eaten. So. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Gonna jump in the creek here. I got a couple hours this evening. I just got done with work and we're gonna jump in the creek and see if we get a big bait eater to eat that thing. So if something eats that, it should be a pretty good size. So I'm excited. Let's get in the creek and see what happens. As you can see, this water is muddy. It's up and flowing really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie on a spinner bait. I might try this a little bit later. I'm gonna put a spinner bait on, see if, see how good they're biting, and uh, go from there. But we're just gonna try to catch some fish first. This water's up a little more than I thought. Okay, we got the big white. CS2 Trophy Bass Co. Uh, spinner bait on. Let's see, let's see if they want this. They should want this thing if they're biting. I don't know. This water is moving pretty dang fast. Just gonna have to figure out where they're at. They should be in the little eddy pockets. Trying to maneuver this water without getting swept down. Probably ain't the safest, but worst thing I'll do is ruin my camera and everything. So, all right, guys, I've only caught one little bitty dink so far. Haven't fished too far yet, though. The water's really moving, which is very surprising. Cause the water looked fine. So I kind of driving over. The river looked okay. I don't know why this is so crazy in here. There's one. That feels like a big fish. but it's big big old smallie a big old Ozark smallie man on the CS2 spinner bait oh yes right where I was hoping they were gonna be Let's 
See how big this mama is. There's a good nice 19 and a half. Oh, 19 and three quarters. Oh, 19 and a half. There we go. There we go, guys. Beautiful 19 and a half inch Ozark Beauty. There she goes. They always swim off perfect because I don't keep them out of the water longer than like freaking a minute at the very most. Hopefully, there's some more of that right up here. <laughs> oh, another good one. Back to back. Not as big, but a good one. This current's ripping, so really gotta fight these fish today in this creek. Oh, largemouth. You got a big old sore on him too. Something got a hold of him. Nice little largy. Good deal. Maybe right back here in this little deep stuff. There could be a giant, hopefully. Seems like they want to be pushed all the way up to the front of that current. We'll tie the big bait on for the way back. We're gonna keep going and see if we can't find one or two more. Can't wait up as far as I want it because this water just this water's just too crazy. I bet they just got a little spooked from catching some right here. Gotta be more, I would imagine. Thought I had a fish on there. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure though. Another little largemouth. Got in that fast current. I couldn't tell. Ooh, I just got smoked right there. One more cast over here. This little pocket. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh no, get out of that brush. Another little guy. It's a little bitty pocket over here. Definitely a little too hot for a hoodie. Should have not wore a hoodie. I'm freaking sweating. Yeah, I don't think they know what to do really. And it's too dirty to see them. Maybe we, there's one. Maybe we can get back towards the parking lot where my truck is and get a high vantage point and just try to pick a, try to find a bed. A little guy, a little male probably, there's probably a bed over there. Good spot for one. All right guys, we know that the mag draft catches the big ones, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out for a second. bite for sure. Oh, I hit it again. 
you hit it two times. I saw him hit it that time. I got something. Nice little smallie. Nice little smallie on the mag draft. Good deal. That was cool, he's out here in the current. Try a little HD swimmer. Let's see if anyone wants to bite that, then we might fish this mag draft down a little ways. Tackle HD swimmer. Little guy. He wanted him some swimmer action though. Mag draft is unbeatable. Oh, and there he goes. It wasn't a giant, probably 17 inches or so. This mag draft is unbeatable, even in the super swift water. You just gotta really finagle yourself and know how this bait's swimming and kind of get it just, if you can get this thing to swim, swim right, swim up and down not flip over on its side in this current. They'll still eat it no matter how fast the current is. A little bitty guy on the mag draft. See so guys, you can catch little ones on this thing. A little bitty squeaker. All right guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Uh, didn't catch a whole lot of fish, but I didn't get to fish nearly as much, uh, didn't get to cover nearly as much water as I planned on. Uh, once I got there, obviously, I told you guys I plan on throwing that big bait and I plan on the water being a little bit clear and not moving quite as fast. So once I got down there, uh, came to notice real quick that that water was actually moving way quicker than I thought. And it was a little dirtier than I thought. So spinnerbait was definitely the way to go. Uh, the mag draft actually picked me up some fish too. Wasn't sure, I've never thrown it in water like that where it's moving quite a bit faster and uh, a little dirtier water too. Usually when I'm throwing it in those creeks, uh, Really started to throw in that a lot last year, and uh, last year you guys know, once the once the weather got warm after spring, I mean we didn't get much rain, so that, all these creeks that I was fishing, the rivers and everything, I mean they were all low, 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 so uh, crystal clear and super low, and that bait did well, so uh, I'm glad it's doing good in the high, dirtier water. Uh, it's definitely a little more versatile than I thought. I can throw it around a lot more now. Uh, not that I don't throw it around a ton already, but feels like I can always pick that up on the creek or the river and uh, entice a few big smallies to eat. So, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying these these, these videos, guys. I'm gonna try to ramp up the uh, content here. Uh, gonna try to get some new gear, really uh, switch gears here, try to put out some more high qu more quality stuff, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Got the boat hopefully lined up and uh, getting it into a shop here pretty soon. 
So hopefully that's not gone all summer. Hopefully it gets in there and gets fixed in a month or two and uh, get that back. But until then, I got buddies that have boats and they're nice enough to let me get out on them. I'm gonna try to upgrade some camera gear here soon, get a GoPro 360 and some other things. So hopefully things start going smoothly after this boat and a couple other mishaps. Hopefully that's all the bad luck and we get this all straightened out and get back on track. Uh, definitely need to get the kayak out soon. I haven't even done a float yet this year. I've been uh, in the boat a lot. Either my boat or somebody else's boat. Uh, river just The river I like to float a lot is uh, just now starting to fire up real good. Kind of some post-spawn fish moving back down out of some of the creeks and uh, setting up in that river. So definitely need to be hitting that very soon. But until then, uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, you guys like the content, down below, subscribe for me, hit that like, share this video with your friend, let them see uh, that you can just grab a rod and go walk the creeks and catch some big smallies. So, until next time guys, catch you later.